number 60 for Austin Matthews. Uh, probably the best home crowd this team has had this season, but the game actually took place in Buffalo. I love that quote. A bunch of the quotes coming out of that game, namely from Max Domi on social media. What an electric atmosphere, man. That was so cool to have the whole crowd behind him to score number 60. I thought that was great. Yeah, that was wild. Like, even, you know, the kids in my house were like, whoa, it's loud there. Like, it's it's noticeable on TV, which sometimes the TV doesn't pick up, you know, the electricity of a crowd or the atmosphere. And in Buffalo, it did, man. They were going nuts. And, I mean, I think that's what you get when you get truly passionate fans who have followed this organization for as long as they have, don't get to go to a lot of games at Scotia, Scotiabank Arena, and they get to go down the highway and go to a game in Buffalo and see their favorite team, and everyone else is doing the same thing, and you like outrun an entire organization's fan base in their own barn. I just I don't think you can find a lot of comparables where other organizations can do that. Like name another one in the league where that could possibly happen. Does not happen. I'm trying to think about other sports i can't think of it you get the leafs fans down in boston that was they they literally it wasn't just like oh yeah we really noticed our fans they <laughs> said domi said it was the best crowd of the year and it's not even in their goddamn rink it's crazy dude it was like i was watching that game and my hair was like raising off my skin like it's such a cool feeling i could only wonder what it feels like to be a player and like that's all i ask for from scotia bank arena rosie you've played in some of the loudest barns in this league nashville comes to mind philadelphia I mean, I know you weren't there for Vegas, but like, fuck, just just make a bit of noise. Like, I, I do truly feel and I know home ice is not quite the same as it was maybe even 15 years ago. Just a bit of noise can go a long way in getting the guys jack. Like, look at the way the the Leafs played. They they built off Samsonov over the weekend, too. It wasn't their best outing, uh, but I thought they they were huge with execution in that game. And I just thought it was so cool to see the reaction to the crowd. The best part of that video as we flash on your screen right there was Bowen Byram doing like the Michael Jordan. He had no stick and he's like, dude, I I can't stop this fucking guy. And that's my feeling when I watch Austin Matthews. Like I was watching that game, you were too. It just felt like that goal was imminent. Like it was happening in Buffalo on Saturday and there was nothing anybody could do about it. Well, he was trying hard for it. Like <clears throat> there is what games before, like how many shot attempts he's tried. He's tried to get it going and um th that shift he, he damn near had it before and then it ended up on his stick and he buried it but i mean with that it's crazy like you're talking about the atmosphere for the leafs mm -hmm. and you're in buffalo man it's not your rink it's not your rink and it's that loud and palpable on tv and when he's selling man he was fired up so i'm glad it didn't happen in columbus or something like that uh pretty cool and i don't know i'd like to know like if you actually had like a a meter and gauging the noise if if it's just like the acoustics in in scotia bank that don't translate to tv because it does get loud in there it does get electric it is it is a very cool atmosphere at times and i just don't think it translates to tv very well and i would argue that maybe it does a little bit more in buffalo but i mean no quite it doesn't matter how you spin it that place was rocking and I think the biggest thing is it's more blue collar people that don't go to sit in the platinum seats every single game. And they're very excited to see a game and they got a show and a shutout and a 60th and lots of reason for those real true fans who are willing to travel to watch the Leafs in, in person brought it and we're excited and we're fired up and they, they got a show. So it was a pretty cool night. Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, we got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching.